All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. As you can see, I'm all cleaned. Got water back. I'm just exposing the church on a video about it. Cause them to, oh yeah, it's done. <laughs> Here's your water, it's back. I uh, had to, of course, turn on the water and leave it on steaming to get rid of the, the lead poisoning. So if you start seeing me get angry, Hulk smash, <laughs> you'll know that I've been lead poisoned by the church. <sighs> Like they did in Sandy. Remember that? Sandy remembers that. Oh, it's just a little bit. Yeah. And it causes brain damage, anger, and passes through the women for three generations. Yay. Uh, but uh, yeah, the church is well known for you know, poisoning their Mormons through water supplies. Not just in various churches, but also the girls' camps. Yay. So, yippee ki uh, I uh, was about to do a, uh, a, uh, a news coverage from last night. I haven't gotten to it yet. So I was going to start, as it's almost 1 o'clock. And saw that um, Mrs. Zelf, from <laughs> Zelf on the Shelf, uh, they put out a new video yesterday actually two days ago. It says June 15th. Why were you saying one day? Uh, and it's about uh, Mormonism and MLMs. I love the revised garment mark over the left breast. Awesome. <laughs> if you're Mormon or you know about the Mormon magic underwear, uh, you know how awesome that is. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, well done uh, but uh, MLMs yeah the church is an MLM I don't think she's going to cover that uh, but uh, yeah I, I also see uh, ABC4 News Utah uh, also did a segment in response to the new budget cuts cutting down the police force here in Utah so Salt Lake City Police Chief Mike Brown, who took a knee, yet kept his soldiers in full riot gear to beat down the protesters. So we know that his taking a knee was a mockery. Uh, and so he's now going to respond to the budget cuts for his department. <laughs> I wonder if he'll like it. <laughs> What's going to happen is he's going to fight for his soldiers. Oh, this is horrible. They they won't know what to... Oh, this is... They have families to take care of. Yeah, and how much are you cutting from your salary, Mike? <laughs> and so, yeah. Uh, but, uh... uh I... It, you might see another video about my news coverage. So be warned. Oh, wow. My goodness, I'm on a roll today. I mean, as the church backed off of YouTube, said, okay, no, he's on to us. Back off. <laughs> so now you guys are seeing my videos? Is that what's going on here? Because it's showing sevens for the last two, which means that it's much higher than what it actually is. And... Oh, we have a negative? <gasps> oh, no. Positives. Wow. So, yeah, 30 for the Mormon Hearts Grow Cold. 12 for remembering past LDS church death threats. And uh, 7, so it's an accurate counting for Mormons about to be destroyed for resting the Book of Mormon. Oh! Now the Book of Mormon is true, because I rested it, so... <laughs> and I know that the idol god, which I call Jesus, is true. That's exactly how it is, Mormons. I'm using your own scriptures against you to condemn you. 
you were warned that that's what would happen with the Book of Mormon, that it would be used as a testament against the wicked. You are the wicked. Ta-da! Alrighty. Horizon Forbidden West. Gorilla Talks PS5. Huh. New PlayStation game, I guess. I don't know why it's on my recommended list. I don't do PS games at all. <sighs> oh, man. Woman lost her brakes on Ohio Interstate, and the car's about to ram her off the road. Ram it down! Ram it down! For those of you of the millennial generation, that song is called an oldie. <laughs> and Mormons don't dare say the name. Because it's Judas Priest. sending me recommendations. Uh, they're probably worse than YouTube's recommendations. What do you mean you think I might like it? I was checking it out, I was about to buy it, and then decided not to. I went and bought the other things instead. Uh, so lame. Alrighty, so the other guy has not responded to my Emmanuel comments. Uh, let's do that one for this one, shall we? Since I'm here to talk about uh, the, the new uh, ex-Mormon garment markings. I wonder if they have a clothing sale that you can buy them. <laughs> ex-Mormon magic underwear. <laughs> I would buy it. Do they have men's pink? I don't need to go into this. I did a copy and paste. <laughs> I should do a screenshot and have that as the cover photo for this one. <laughs> I'll try to remember. Oh, see, I don't need to do this. That wasn't as bad as everybody was saying it was. I saw it, it was kind of cool. Ah, my YouTube comment. There we go. Now we gotta blow it up. View. Zoom. The new Zoom review. place in the scripture. No, I'm not yammed. No. No. It's because it's jaw. Uh. 
Psalm 68, verse 4, Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that writeth upon the heavens by his name, Yah. It's not Jah. That's the corrupted European phonetics. His name is Jah. <laughs> Yah. So, Spanish. Jesus, Jesus. But instead of he, ha, it's Yah. And rejoice before him. So there you go. Really on one today. So lead poisoning that's doing it. <laughs> no, it's the scriptures about resting <laughs> that I put in that previous video. Oh my God! You rest the scripture. You rest the scriptures. You're going to be destroyed. <laughs> Satan causes you to rest the scriptures. To have contention. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Okay. So, yes, now I understand what Bishop Cummins was referring to my ex about when he said, Travis, rest the scriptures. He was saying I was of the devil, possessed of the devil, that bastard. I home taught you guys. I was concerned because the Spirit inspired me to be concerned that you may have been an abuser as a father. So watch yourself, Bishop. <laughs> I can play the Mormon spirit game too. And so, <laughs> Yah, was, Yah was taken as the name for the first pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, who chased out the Hyksos to restore the kingdom of Tawut. Phonetically, Dawud, who is the Hebrew David, whose god was Yah, as the Egyptian god Tawut's symbol was Yah, the moon. Through the star of David is the sun's symbol. His name was Yah Mose, which in Greek, with the added S for masculine singular, becomes literally Yah Moses of the 18th dynasty. David Moses. So, when you read in Jeremiah 23 about a future son of King David who is to restore the kingdom of David and save the Jews and Israelites, just as Moses, Jeremiah is directly referring to the 18th dynasty David Moses, who likewise restored the kingdom of the ancient David Moses. The shield of David that you see on my ring being the symbol and Paleo-Hebrew word for restoring prophet King Emmanuel as Moses and David and Pharaoh Yamose. Emmanuel is not God with us but the God Amun who is the heavenly father of the Egyptians whose son the Pharaoh is also named Amun after his father in heaven. I'm using father in heaven because he was asking about father in heaven and Yah not being father in heaven and referring to Yah as the pagan god. <laughs> and so thus the way I wrote it. Thus pharaohs of the 18th dynasty were named David Moses and Amun Hotep which priesthood was the order of Amun, until Akhenaten, of course, if you know Egyptian history. Pharaohs were the king of kings and the great high priests, i.e. Melchizedek, as theocratic leaders, the sun symbolizing government and the moon symbolizing religion. And so technically, this, even though it's understood as a double sun sign uh, is also a sun and moon sign. The circle, which is the ion in Hebrew phonetics, the uh, omicron in Greek, is uh, technically the moon. So you have the sun and the moon together as one, referring to the kingdom of David. So isn't that fun?
store this. Alrighty.